Hello everyone. It's been first couple of weeks of new year and here we got a new fascinating model called Nvidia Cosmo. It's a game changer in the world of video diffusion models. Nvidia Cosmo offers a unique approach to video generation. This tool is designed for tasks like video to video, text to video, image to video using specific model weights. In this, everything is designed to handle these tasks effectively, making it easier to bring your ideas to life without complications. Here is a quick reminder. These AI models use different kinds of weights depending on whether you are starting with text or an image. You can mix and match weights like using text to video weights for image to video tasks. Nvidia has released a full set of weights along with tools like the UNS sampler, tokenizer and auto regressive models weights. Now let's download the files you need to run this model. You have to go to the website and click on Cosmo Text Encoder and VAE. Once you enter, you will find two folders that are text, code, text encoders and VAE. Now click on VAE and you will get a file Cosmos 1.0 Safe Tensors. Download this and save it in your models VAE folder in Comfy UI. And then click back and enter text encoder folder here you will see two files now you need to understand these two encoder versions are available that is old t5 underscore xxl fp16 and fp8 but fp8 is consumer pcs friendly whereas fp16 takes larger vram now it's time to download the models file. Download uh, this file and save it in your models text encoder folder in Comfy UI. Now it's time to download the models files. You need to click here. There are four safe tensors models are available that are text to world and video to world in 14 and 7b. We will use text to world while generating text to video and video to world while generating image to video. Here we try with 7B version as I told you it's user friendly for most of the PCs while 14B version requires much larger RAM. Moving forward you need to download this file 7B text to world for text to video in your models diffusion folder in Comfy UI. And same goes for and same goes for video to world 7B safe tensor for image to video. Once you scroll down, you will notice there are two workflows given that are image to video and text to video. So to work on this, you have to download one of these files. Here I am working on text to video. So I'll download this and will open Comfy UI and I will load the workflow. Here you can see this di diagram, but you will notice that there, there is some node missing. And to fix that, you can go to manager and update all and restart your Comfy UI. Once this updation is completed, you have to restart your Comfy UI. And now your missing node problem is sorted and you are ready to go. Moving forward, we have node diffusion model and clip loader. Here we are using T5 XXL old version, which is version 1.0, and they have named it OT5 XXL. Here in diffusion model, we have com we have Cosmos 7B text to world safe tensor, which is for text to video generation. Now coming to model sampling continuous EDM. Here you can see. Uh, if you enable this node in sampling continuous EDM, then it will use Sigma as a range of settings here. And for Torch compile model, you will need Triton installed and enabled to run this. Now there are two options, inductor and CUDA graph. But I would suggest inductor as CUDA graph loads slowly. And you will need to install Torch to 5.1, that is 
required to enable compatibility with the inductor option. Here in K sampler, in this steps are 30, CFG 7, and sampler name is rest underscore multi step, which is for the best quality. This one is new for the for this model. Scheduler Keras as default, but you can try others also if you want to explore. Next, we have clip text and NVIDIA Cosmo conditions. Here is the best part. We can add negative prompts as well, like conditions, as it was never before in any other model. There is also a bypass LTXVC XV conditioning node. The work of this node is to control frame rate of the generated videos. It passes the conditioning to let the AI know that we want 24 FPS by we, but we actually don't need this. That's why Comfy UI bypassed this node and it can work without 24 FPS also. Now coming to empty Cosmos latent video, here Comfy UI has released two nodes for this model. First is Cosmos latent video and another one is Cosmos image to video latent. So you will use empty Cosmos latent video while generating text to video and Cosmos image to video while generating image to video. Both parameters have same settings. In this width and height must be 1280 by 704 because this model supports this resolution and default length is 121 that means it can generate 5 seconds video. Now coming to VAE decode it's a default node while generating text to video. Now here is my prompt I have given this a lengthy prompt which is the short is foggy uh, with sharp color contrast the look and feel captured is found footage quality with low visibility etc etc so let's generate text to video as you can see the video generation is already in process so let's wait for the results So here is the result and firstly let's talk about the atmosphere. It's foggy, violent ocean make it hard to see everything clearly as I had added in the prompt. The setting includes details like a wooden hull and the distressed cries of sailors. The kraken wraps its tentacles around the ship showing its immense size and strength. The massive sea creature dramatically appears from the stormy sea with slimy tentacles with that look powerful and menacing. This description perfectly matches an action-packed and immersive animated shot, ideal for thrilling storytelling or video game cinematics. So basically, it has followed the prompt and given the wanted result. So you can say it's a good result of text to video in this model. Now we will try with image to video, and for this you have to download the file from here and load in your workflow. Now, as you can see, the all the diagram is same, but I have uploaded two images. One is starting image and another is end image. So that model can understand our requirements better to generate the video. Or you can work on single image too and bypass the another one. This is the first time that Comfy UI has added one more feature in image to video in which we can add the end image as well. All the settings will be default as earlier and I have added one more node which is resize image node to match the dimensions for Cosmos. These dimensions 1280 by 704 be perform better in terms of resolution and video pixel quality. So we will keep the same as we used while generating text to video. Here, as I explained earlier in this, we will need Cosmos image to video latent 
and settings will be default. So I have uploaded these two images as I told you starting image and end image and I have given this prompt as well. As you can see a group of six workers dressed in dark worn clothes and carrying tools and backpacks etc etc. So let's try to generate the result and wait for the output. Finally the result has been generated. As you can see in this starting image the sailors are on different point and the ship also. But in the ending image both have moved from their respective places. So this model has captured this detail very beautifully and created a video of moving the ship from one place to another and sailors dodging the ship. It shows in a dramatic way. The foggy weather, muddy land all are there as per the prompt. So basically you can say it has followed all the prompt and worked. All in all, all in all, you can say it has completely understood the picture and the given the wanted result by these two pictures. So that's all for today's video. Follow for more such content and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Good day.